and, and then we're, we're going to be teeing up for the next thing, and it's that coastal storm. Already alluding to it, right? We've got flood alerts in the Carolinas. We've got that likely uh, threat for excessive rain through parts of the Carolinas. This is going to persist into Thursday, and really Thursday could be the big day. The second coastal storm in less than a week for the I-95 corridor, and this was just days after Saturday's record rain. North Carolina's Outer Banks expected to be in the bullseye for the heavy rain. It comes on the heels of that coastal flooding in Rodanthe, which happened both before and after yesterday's morning, yesterday morning's high tide. This is a vulnerable stretch of beach along <clears throat> North Carolina. So to see this, are we surprised? Perhaps not anymore, but still those threats are there. And when we're eyeing down another coastal storm, we'll have to watch, especially on, on high tides. So strong winds, more coastal flooding is going to be likely there. The, the coastal impacts are going to really begin late tonight. And mm. I think that that's the component that, that we've been watching. I yeah. mean, even through the Delmarva, mm -hmm. we've continued with uh, coastal flood advisories. Oh, man. With a separate system. Exactly. There's not been much of a break that we've had along the Mid-Atlantic and, and the Northeast. Mm -hmm. And here comes, here comes the next one. But these players, <laughs> which you, we were showing that cold front, yeah. that's going to be an important component here. Yeah. Where do we see the heaviest of rain, you know? Yeah, and you talk about the amount of rain, several inches in some cases, maybe up to three inches of rain right along the coast. And this is going to be one of those areas where, boy, a lot of people have already been dealing with quite a bit of rain. Three inches of rain, again, North Carolina to Virginia. There is the weakening front we've been talking about throughout the day today, but taps into some moisture. We get an area of low pressure develop. And then all of the moisture, not only from the Gulf, but right off the Atlantic, gets pulled up into the system. Watch how close the system is to the coast and watch all of the amount of moisture right along the coast as well. This is third Thursday afternoon. The dry air is all behind it. Look at the spine line here. But I'll tell you what, where we do have the moisture coming in and that southerly flow coming in, plenty of moisture to work with, and that does mean plenty of rain for us. Uh, as we go into the future radar and clouds, this is going to be this afternoon, some scattered showers. Yes, you'll need the umbrella at times and windshield wipers uh, on high sometimes for our nation's capital in through portions of Albany through the capital district. Now, as we go through the afternoon and evening hours, we'll get more of that rain starts to pick up. Mm. Those of you on the morning commute tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be heavy. It, it is. Along the I-95 corridor. And you notice how all the way down, I mean, into the Carolinas, up into the Delmarva, that rain's going to continue. I, I had mentioned how important the position of this low is or this front's going to be. Uh, that positioning is very important, especially yeah. when we consider where we might see the heaviest of rain. Of course, we're still looking at the uh, cleanup process, which has now begun the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The rain's in the forecast for Baltimore. The rain is going to be widespread, too. And one thing to keep in mind when we're looking at the Mid-Atlantic, this is not going to let up throughout the day on Wednesday, uh, Thursday, excuse me. We'll see it move in later today. I mean, right now we're dealing with some drier time. And in fact, when we look at the temperatures, we're, we're now starting to, to pick up on more of that southerly flow. So we'll see temperatures a little warmer here in the Mid-Atlantic today. But despite that, the amount of rain that we could see overall, yeah, that could be problematic. We'll see how much ultimately falls, but maybe it won't be as much as what we saw on Saturday, a half an inch to upwards of an inch. Temperatures there through the 40, uh, 40s and the 50s, and then by Friday, we're warming back up into the 60s. But